Hello and welcome. In today's class, we'll be looking at another question that has appeared in ISC Computer Science Sample Paper 2026. It is about equilibrium indices. So let's find out more about this question. So in this question, we have to write a program to declare a single dimensional array A of size L, where L is an integer greater than or equal to 3 and less than or equal to 50. We have to allow the user to input integers into this array and we have to display an appropriate error message for an invalid input. Next, we need to perform the following tasks on the array. Firstly, we need to display the original array. Next, we need to find and print all the equilibrium indices in increasing order. Now, an index i which is zero based is called an equilibrium index if the sum of elements on its left equals the sum of elements on its right. So we'll try to understand this with some examples in a short while. And if no equilibrium index exists, we display an appropriate message. So we have entered the size as seven, and that's why we have entered seven elements into this array. And we have displayed the original array and then we are displaying the equilibrium index as 3. So obviously 2 is at 0, 3 is at 1, minus 1 is at 2 and 8 is at 3. That means 8 is the equilibrium index here. Why is that? Because if you take a look at this position, index 3, so on its left it has 3 elements. And if you add these elements, 2 plus 3 minus 1 gives 4. And on its right also, if you sum up the elements, 4 minus 2 plus 2, that also gives 4. So on the left side as well as on the right side, the sum is same. And that is why 3 is the equilibrium index here. So 3 is the only equilibrium index over here in this example. In the next example, L is 5, that means the size of the array is 5, so that's why we have entered 5 elements into the array. And we have displayed the original array once again. And this time, the equilibrium index is 0. Why is that? Because at 0, we have 0. And on its left, we don't have any elements. So we assume that the sum on the left hand side is 0. But when you look at the sum of the elements on the right hand side. So minus 7 plus 3 is minus 4. Minus 4 minus 2 is minus 6 and minus 6 plus 6 is 0. So that means this is the reason why index 0 is the equilibrium index here because on its left side also the sum is 0 and on its right side also the sum is 0. Now in the next example again we have uh, the length as 6. We have entered six elements and we have displayed the original array and then because there is no equilibrium index in this sequence, so it displays nil. And now look at example four. The length is seven, so we have seven elements in the array and we have two equilibrium indexes here. One is at index three. So 0, 1, 2, 3. So that means 2 at this position. So on its left, we have minus 7, 1, and 5. So if we add them up, so minus 7 plus 1, minus 6, plus 5, minus 1. And if you look at the elements on the right-hand side, minus 4 plus 3 plus 0, that also gives us minus 1. So 3 is the equilibrium index because 3 is the position where the sum on the left hand side and on the right hand side are same. Also look at position 6. So 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. That means here. Now this is the last element actually. Or you can say this is the last position. So on its right we have no elements. So we assume that the sum is 0. But on the left hand side. Minus 7 plus 1 is minus 6. Then plus 5 minus 1. Then minus 1 plus 2 is 1. 1 minus 4 is minus 3. Minus 3 plus 3 is 0. 
So that means on the left hand side as well as on the right hand side, we are getting zero. So again, the sum is same and that's why index six is also the equilibrium index here. And finally, if the length is two, then it displays invalid input because the length should be minimum three. So that's the question. I hope you have understood the question. So let's now look at the program. So here I've written the program to solve this question. So first of all, you can see in this line, line five and six, I'm inputting the length of the array. And then I'm checking if the length is valid or not. If invalid, then I'm printing a message, an appropriate message, and then uh, calling the return statement to exit from in, and the program terminates. But if the length is valid, then we create the array of that size. And now we start asking the user to enter the array elements for that array. So we have written a for loop here to input the elements. And after that, we have also displayed the array elements, the original array. And now Boolean found is equal to false. That means I'm assuming that there are no equilibrium indexes. So that's why initially I have set it to false. And then I'm printing this heading message, equilibrium indices. So from zero to less than the length, that means the entire array, we are taking left as zero and the right as zero because we have to find the sum of the left elements and sum of the right elements. So that's why two accumulators are there and J is a loop. So which is going from zero to less than nine. That means all the elements present on the left side. So we are adding, summing up the elements on the left side and another loop, which is going from I plus one till the length, or I should say till the last index. And we are adding all the values on the right hand side. And if we find that the sum on the left side and the right side are same, then we change the Boolean variable from false to true. And we also display that index. And once the loop ends, and if I find that till the end, the found was false, that means no equilibrium indices were found. And that's why it will display nil. So that's the program. Let's check the output. So let's execute the program. So firstly, we have to input the value of L. Let's enter the length as seven. And now we have to enter seven elements. So two, three, minus one, eight, four, minus two, minus or uh, plus two. So you can see that the equilibrium index is three here. Now look at the next example. So once again, we execute the program. And this time we enter the size as five and we enter the elements as zero minus seven, three minus two, six. So zero is the equilibrium index. Now let's look at example three. We enter the length as six. And then we enter these elements one, two, three, four, five, and six. So no equilibrium indices were found and that's why it prints nil. Then let's check the fourth example. So let's enter the size as seven. Then we have minus seven, one, five, two, minus four, three, zero. So three and six are the equilibrium indices. And the last one, if I enter the size as two, it displays invalid input. So that's how we can solve this question, equilibrium indices. I hope you have understood this method. If you still have questions, you can always get in touch with me through comments. Thank you for watching and see you soon in the next class.